The Layer Mask is an amazing tool that allows you to edit your photo non-destructively. So step one, click the Add Layer Mask button in the Layers panel to add a layer mask to the active layer. So right now I have two layers. I have the top layer, which is the door, hello door. Now we have the bottom layer, which is the forest path. So I want to make sure I have the door layer selected and I'm going to want to add an, a layer mask and you can do that down here. Okay, so this indicates that you have a layer mask and we know that this is selected because there is a frame around it. See, if I have this selected, the image the frame is around it. So I just want to make it on the layer mask thumbnail. Step two, select the brush tool, which we'll find down here, brush tool. Now we want to make sure the color is black. Right now it's white, so we want to make sure we're painting in black. Paint with black over the image where you want to hide the layer with the layer mask. So remember, you can change the size of the brush by tapping the left or right square bracket key on your keyboard. So smaller and larger. So paint with black over the image where you want to hide the layer. So step number five, paint with black over the image where you want to hide the layer. So here I am hiding the door and I'm revealing the layer that's underneath. So black will reveal, and if I were to switch, maybe I want to have more of the door showing, I would switch the color here. Now I'm painting with white, and look, I've got my door, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to switch back to black. So remember, black conceals and white reveals. Okay, so now I'm just going to paint with black. So this is one method of editing a layer mask with the brush tool. Okay, so now we're going to make a layer mask from a selection. So to do that, we want to hit the quick selection tool and select what we want to remove. So select the door. So I want to make it appear like the forest is coming out of the door. So the problem is that's not what I want the layer mask to alter. So this is a crucial step. I want to select the inverse of the image. So that way this is what remains. Great. So now that we have the image selected, I want to go to create layer mask. Great. So we have both layers showing. So now I want to go in with the brush and I want to refine the layer mask. When you create a layer mask from a selection, you can edit the mask using the brush tool. This allows you to use a soft edge brush to create more gradual transitions. So when you paint with the black, you hide the mask layer and white to reveal. So in the options bar for the brush tool, set the opacity to 50% to paint with like a gray, which will partially hide the mask layer. And I'm gonna wanna make sure that I have a soft brush. I don't wanna do hard, soft will help blend. So let's see here. So as I said, black reveals and white conceals. 
So the refining the edge is very crucial. Using a soft brush tool with a low opacity will help refine this composite to blend these two images into one. The next tool in your tool belt for blending is using blending modes, which you'll find over here. Blending modes takes the pixels of one layer and blends them with the pixels of another layer to create a completely new effect. So this is normal. These are our darker options. Ooh, and then this is lighter. And these options here lighten your image. Now these are good for contrast. Now this does an, an inversion. Now these are components. So there's something about this one I like. And then from here, you can go in and edit it. And you can change the opacity. Maybe I like that one more. So using blending modes will give you more options and add more textures to your image. So that concludes our blending modes.